everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a knife from Rosecraft Blades and I think this is going to be my knife of the year, traditional knife of the year for 2023. Take a look at the box to start with. In this sort of new style traditional box, you can see they've slightly changed the logo on in there. Here's the older style with the, the, like the script on there and that's been changed to this newer style sort of round logo. You can see we have the C and the R on there for Rosecraft. Rosecraft Blades, we make knives for people who love knives. I mean, great slogan, can't really say much more about that. Rosecraftblades.com on the side. Same on the other side of that, and we have the pull tab at the end. This side, you can see we're looking at model number RCT006, and that is the Beaver Creek Barlow. And this one comes in the Bourbon Bone. See again, RCT006, Beaver Creek Barlow, there's the barcode number. And again, on the bottom, you have that their logo on there nice style box nice and sturdy draw sting pull out like all the other boxes they've done and you can see we have the nice foam cut out in there that keeps the knife nice and secure and you can see it's the exact outline of the knife and this little bit here so you can lift the knife out without having to shake it out so it's a nice little touch really do like their box it's very simple very straight to the point but that's pretty much what i want it for i want it to arrive to me in great condition without having to worry about it getting banged around on the way here on the base of the inner bit as well, you can see cancer and reproductive harm and the website there. And of course, this was made in China. So here it is, the Beaver Creek Barlow. And I've not had this a whole lot of time, but it's made a massive impact on me. I really do think this is going to be my uh, traditional knife of the year, just mainly for the quality of it, the style. Really how it's sort of like a, a modern take on a really traditional pattern, but still using like like semi-traditional materials but we'll take a look at the specs together so we have a full close length of one two three three and a half just over three and a half inches you can see we have this wonderful orange bourbon bone or bourbon bone on there you can see we have the the stainless steel bolsters and of course this one is etched with the rc for rosecraft script on there where they are lined, no pinching, just slightly rounded over. And of course, you've got that traditional Barlow style where you have the bolster that's about a third of the length of the knife. And there's just something about that elongated bolster that I really love about a Barlow. Of course, it's that sort of teardrop design. You can see it's slimmer here than it is at this end. Not quite as pronounced as you would get on a British Barlow, but done very well. Transitions perfect can't feel anything at all the pins are wonderfully smooth the bone is immaculately smooth the only difference you can really feel is the smooth bone into the brushed steel bolster you can see like there's no gap there at all it's wonderfully done love the coloring as well that the bone takes as it's a natural color you know they'll all be different you can see this one here has the sort of the darker orange speckles in it take a look at the fit and finish Termination perfect. You can see that center in there, absolutely bang on down the middle. And uh, I can't see any gaps at all. Pretty much, if you hold it at certain angles, it just looks like a solid piece of metal on the back. But of course, we do have the stainless steel liners as well. Looks like they are actually integral to the bolster, which is a nice touch. So, we've got integral liners to the bolster, very cool touch from them. On the reverse then, no script on the on the bolster, just nice and plain, again with that line, the same bourbon bone. Transitions, perfect, colouring, very good match to the front. Something I like to see when they can match the front and back as closely as possible. Some knives you do get might have like a really dark orange this side, and then barely dyed on the back, but they've done a wonderful job on this one. Really love the speckling on the colour on there. Half did really well, can't feel any sharp corners. Little bit maybe on the tang, but nothing major you're going to catch your finger on. Got a nice squared off end of the tang in there, so you can see we're going to have a half stop. Nice weight to it as well. It's nice to have a traditional knife with a bit of weight. A lot of these modern ones made with G10 are just really light, and I prefer to know I have the knife in my pocket. can tell if it's still there or if it's been dropped. So we are looking at a sheep's foot blade, and this is in D2 steel, one of my favourite steels. You can see we have the Rosecraft Blades script on there. 
edge pretty even all the way along maybe a little bit shallow at the at the ricasso back here or the sharpening choil and then again very even on the other side as well see we have this sort of semi polished sort of satin polished finish and we do have swedging on the top there probably my only real gripe about this knife probably would have preferred it without the swedging but of course that's a design choice we have the nice clean nail neck on there as well and i love how you can see the grind lines on the blade too razor sharp out of the box like crazy sharp nice point on that sheep's foot as well and as i mentioned this does have a half stop so really nice action nice snap into the half stop even nicer snap into the close i'd say this one is about a six and a half on the pull so nearly ideal you're able to pinch open it too which is great so you don't need to use the nail neck there's enough blade here that you can just pinch and open it and not have to worry about having to get your nail there maybe breaking your nail maybe you haven't got nails so you can see here we have the d2 steel rct006 and then andy armstrong's maker's mark just there it does come with a stick on it lets you know it's made in china but of course like you can see where that was i've taken that off just for the review just so i can have a look at the blade properly really wonderful shape i love the walk and talk on this it's really smooth as well it's almost like glass love the noise nice uk legal knife we'll take a look at the blade length now so we are looking at tip to tang of one to 2.8 inches and then a full cutting edge of one to just shy of two and a half maybe just just about two and a half inches on the cutting edge so very uk legal and world legal knife and it's great to see that new companies are still making them legal for the uk and all around the world it's nice that we're getting traditional slip joint designs that we can all carry all over the place i'm gonna say it, this is definitely my knife of the year a cross between the color the design choices it's really comfortable on the hand and i love the fact that they've gone for a sheep's foot blade over the tra traditional clip point blade maybe in the future might like to see one with a spear point or a drop point that would be really cool as well maybe even a lamb's foot that would be nice to give you one more look at that bone and the finish on this knife it's done absolutely brilliantly so there we go guys i really hope you enjoyed this review please be sure to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and i'll catch you in the next one peace out